This Week in Agribusiness, serving America's most essential industry with agriculture broadcaster Orion Samuelson and yours truly, Max Armstrong, and featuring agriculture meteorologist Greg Solier. This Week in Agribusiness is brought to you by Firestone. You never farm alone. Parts availability is a challenge across the countryside, but farmers are pressing forward with harvest nonetheless. Hello everybody, welcome to This Week in Agribusiness. I'm Mike Pearson here in the studio today and we certainly appreciate you taking the time to join us. It's a busy time out in farm country, of course, as we get into fall, we get into the main part of harvest across much of the Corn Belt and Harvest is moving along fairly well. As of Monday, October 10th, USDA had the corn crop at 40% harvested nationwide. That's 10 percentage points ahead of a, the five-year average. And the soybean crop was 49% harvested. That's running about 9% faster. We're going to go to a, several different locations across the country to hear how harvest is going. Chad Colby has our first update, taking a look at the corn and bean crop in Illinois. Mike, there's been a lot of harvest progress over the last several weeks with great weather, but this past week we did get some pretty exciting weather across the Midwest. That's a nice way to say it. It kind of slowed things down. There was a lot of this in many places of the Midwest. Some inclement weather took guys out of the field. As most of you know, with the warmer temperatures we've had the last few weeks, it's allowed producers to get in the fields and get this corn crop harvested. In a lot of places, I would tell you they're above average as far as how much they've got out over the last several years. You have to remember though, in many places of the Midwest, there's a lot of down corn. And this warm weather has certainly helped that. As far as the soybeans goes, that's the crop we're lagging behind a little bit. I talked to several producers this week that are hoping this next 10 day window is gonna be very favorable for getting their crops out. As far as some of those specialty crops like sugar beets, up in North Dakota, I talked to a producer that's doing pretty well. They've had some rain in that region as well. For This Week in Agribusiness, I'm Chad Colby. Thanks, Chad. There has been a lot of harvest progress across Iowa and Illinois. I know in my recent travels, I have seen a lot of combines out working in the fields. But something similar is happening in Kansas as well. We had a chance to talk with Griff Howard. He's a farmer in Hiawatha, Kansas, and we asked how harvest was shaping up in his part of the world. We've had good rainfall throughout the summer and uh, we stayed away from the, the real hot temperatures and we were about halfway through harvest right now and we've had record yields on, on corn. We've started in on some soybeans and we're seeing record yields on soybeans as well. Northeast Kansas isn't your typical uh, Kansas, you know, flat land. It's, uh, we're, we're pretty rolling. We have a lot of terraced, most, most all of our fields are terraced and we farm primarily on the contour, so a lot of rolling hills, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very productive ground here. Well, record yield reports coming out of Northeast Kansas. A lot of things to keep our eye on as those combines keep moving. Let's go a little farther north to Morse Bluff, Nebraska to farmer Dan Wesley. How's harvest looking up there? You know, it's been really nice. We've had, uh, you know, surprisingly, the, the, the little amount of rain we've had this year at, uh, it's done its thing and, and we're into a nice fall and nice weather. Uh, we've actually only had one major rain in the middle of harvest and that's actually been beneficial. Some of the beans earlier on were coming out uh, too dry and it kind of brought the moisture up and so which brought the yield up a little better and more at the ideal 12-13% moisture beans. So uh, harvest's been going along really well. People are really getting after it and we're expecting another rainfall here so that'll put things to stand still for a while, but uh, things been going really well. I finished my soybeans this last week and uh, I got a good start on corn. So it'll, uh, the goal is to be done by Halloween. Um, so right now we're on pace, so we'll see what happens. Corn's drying down and if I can get to a point where I don't have to dry it anymore and go straight to storage, that'll, that'll certainly speed things along. That was Dan Wesley making some harvest progress in Morse Bluff, Nebraska. Now we're going to go a little farther north to South Dakota. We're going to check in with one of our, well, favorite market analysts, who is also a farmer, Dwayne Bossy, up around Britain, South Dakota. Dwayne, how has harvest been up there? Actually, it's been very good. Uh, we started in about mid to late September in the Dakotas for the most part. Weather was very warm and very dry. Uh, so we went 
pretty hard on the beans early, and you can see that in the crop progress with North and South Dakota well ahead of the normal pace on, on soybean harvest. We did get uh, some rain last Friday that shut us down in Northern South Dakota and North Dakota down for this past week, but uh, you know, a little break like that can be expected every once in a while. Yeah, it's nice to have a little time to do some tune-ups. Dwayne, let's talk about yields. When those beans are coming out of the field up there, how are they doing? Right. Well, in the eastern part of South Dakota and the eastern part of North Dakota, we're definitely hitting that bingo card of better than expected. Um, in fact, you get over right along the Minnesota line, we're hearing record yields for some places for beans. It's those August rains, Mike. They, they came in just in the nick of time for the soybean harvest anyway, so or the soybean yield. So better than expected for sure. Now, with the rain that's uh, kept some folks out of the field this past week, have you and your neighbors been making much progress on the corn crop? Uh, just a little bit here and there. There's some corn coming off of North and South Dakota, a little bit more in North Dakota, which kind of shows the drought they had, right? If harvest progress is that ahead of pace in North Dakota, it means it dried down a little too early and died off, actually. So, you know, the, I mentioned the rains came in perfect time for uh, the soybean crop, but I think it might have been just a little bit late for corn. We're still going to have decent corn yields, and, and if you got that shot of rain, you're going to have 200 bushel corn in areas, but uh, USA is probably really close to online with our corn and soybean yields in North and South Dakota now. All right, definitely a lot of things to keep an eye on as those combines get back out in the field this next week. Dwayne Bossy, thanks so much for talking to us. Yeah, thanks for having me.